Peace Frog, Peace Frog. Second, second album. Second album. I'm in a bind, I got little time No guitars, the drums, just the keys Got a song in my heart, doesn't need guitars I wrote a song for you on the piano Some less aggressive, some with a tune that's mellow Something for me to speak in a song Something on the piano I got an aching in my heart, no drums or guitars. I'll write a song on the piano. Got something in my heart tearing me up. I should have seen it from the start. Had I thought it would be so hard. I got a feeling in my heart too delicate for guitars. So I'll try my best to make it on the piano. I'll write you a song on the piano. Fair enough until you're full. outside. If you ever leave the city note long, it will evaporate and turn to an ash 
sure to wear flowers in your hair. It all started with ten and it went down to one. Hours of nothing but sorrow and agony. We were only two away from being the you-know-who guys and we blew it all down the drain. Three years of training and practice and it all wasted on one little game.
congratulated the winning team and four months later we had a rematch for the title. We were ahead by five, and on the last inning, they missed a shot to win the game. For six years straight, we held that title of being the You Know Who guys. my veggies and keep my shirt tucked in. I always clean my room and treat my mother right. Respect is key when you're as nice as me. Sing along to Top 40 and I keep the lawn neat.
say you're pleased and thank you. You wanna get an A. Gotta mind your P's and Q's and life will be okay. Cause I wanna be healthy and clean. Brush your teeth till they're white and brush a little more. Go outside and ride your bike if you're feeling bored. Say please and thank you. You wanna get an A. You gotta mind your P's and Q's and your life will be okay. to do about the world, about the news. Now, if your age is on the clock, you are enough to give a shot. Forget the lessons, forget the people. Don't listen to what they say. Turn your head and look away. Say, hey man, this ain't true. They don't know what you're going through. <laughs> Lift your hand, squeeze a fist, draw back, swing your wrist. Hit them hard, show no mercy, make them show how you do. Your mind is racing. How about 
A strange noise startles you. You glance to the right. Nothing. You glance to the left. Nothing. You look up. You are greeted by several falling sweaty creatures onto the bed. You make a dash for the exit, but it's no use. You slowly turn your sore, aching neck to the sobbing, shiny creatures. Ten of them, all crawling with their feet before their hands. Try the door, locked. You lean your face against the wooden door and look through the keyhole. Darkness. Your heart leaps to your throat as if you've just been passed by an unarmed curtain. As an effect far superior to the fair start of grunt, he let out all the sweat coated mammals falling from the roof. You turn to the boat. They are closer now. Nowhere to run. You're back to a corner and pray for death. They stumble towards the corner where you lean. Huddled, shivering, one leans up forward and whispers in the ear. Son, I know what's best, it says. Only what's best for you. You kick open the door and dive into the infinite blackness that was once before you. Downward, you far farther in time. You hit a hard surface. Woo! Smack! Pull out a little lighter and the dark area illuminates with a soft glow of flame and the memory of your last cigarette. You hear a scurry beneath you, a mouse no more. Too frightened to move an inch, you sit on the cold ground. Suddenly, the room is lit. You look around. There are several paintings plastered on all five walls. All of children. There's a bunk bed in the corner with a blood-stained green blanket. Multiple toy cars laid on the hardwood floor. A flower rug sits almost under the bed. But just enough room for your little feet to step onto another after a night of dreams. A child sits on a chair in the corner. A cross hangs around her neck. A school agenda in her left hand, a knife in her right. She must have been seven. You look up after the creature's falling down to you. Thud! All the way on the north side of the room, you grab the child's suicide weapon and throw the arms blindly until something stops him. You wake up. It's time for church, your mother says. You get up with your heart beating like a machine gun. Yes, mother. 